Hi guys, Alexandria and Daisy here. Today I'm going to show you how I groom my Pomeranian Daisy DIY style. So I'm going to save you so much money by showing you how I bathe her and groom her and get her looking her absolute best. So welcome to Le Palm Parler. This is just my bathroom, but it sounds cuter when you say the palm parlor in French, so that's just what I do. I think that the decor in here adds so much to the atmosphere and gets her feeling very peaceful, or at least I like to think it does. So of course I had to get a big chandelier to make it feel luxurious, and over here I just have a little bit of decor. I have my cotton pads from Chanel, a little body scrub, and a little elephant that my brother gave me. And then down here I have some more soaps and that one is Chanel inside and some bath bombs and these adorable succulents from Amazon. I had a succulent plant in here for the longest and it just died and these are actually fake. Can't really tell and I'll put a link for these down below. They are the cutest little decor and I feel like they just add so much to the space. And the bath itself where we're going to bathe Daisy. Here's what I'll be using today. This is the shampoo. It looks really disgusting, but it's the Deep Moisture Shampoo for Dogs, Vanilla Buttercream Scented. And I love this one because it's moisturizing and it smells delicious. She smells like a little cupcake afterwards. And then for conditioner, I'm gonna use this brand. It's a luxury re-moisturizing conditioner. So again, a moisturizing product. And plus, this one also smells so good. It says coconut, but I think it smells more vanilla-y. And just like I said, it smells so good. It's why I love it. And it also feels really nice on her hair. Are you ready for a bath, Daisy? Are you ready? So first, I always set her towel down that I'm going to use. And she knows already it's time for a bath. Are you excited? Are you excited? hot and it's not too cold. You a little thirsty? So I also have a little bowl for the water and then I got a little washcloth because I like to use it to clean around her face. You're just going to get her hair all wet. So now we're going to use the shampoo and I just put a strip of it down her back. Pomeranian's hair is so thick, I like to just massage it into her fur and make sure I get down to her skin. Daisy, you shrunk. You shrunk, Daisy. So, you know when you're at the salon and you get your hair done and the lady has like her nails, she's just massaging your scalp when you're in the bowl? That's what I love to do for Daisy because I know that feels so good. We'll give her a luxurious little bath. Make sure it's real nice and lathered up. Booty scratches, of course. Can't forget those. Does it feel good? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes, it does. I know. Ooh. So once they're all lathered up and you really massaged it in, I'm gonna take my damp washcloth. Yeah. And so I'm just gonna be really gentle. Cause she gets eye boogers, so we're gonna wanna take that off. Another shake. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Gonna get you nice and clean. And now we're gonna use our conditioner. I don't use a lot because I don't want it to weigh down her hair. So I'll just use about this much. And we're gonna spread it all over. And then I just like to squeeze all the extra water off her body and her hair, her tail. And you're all clean. Mm -hmm. And we're out of the bath. 
So now that you've wrapped them up like a little mummy, we're going to cuddle them just for a little bit and make them feel nice and cozy. Then we're gonna move on to blow drying and cutting her hair. How's that sound? Good? Oh my goodness, Daisy, crazy girl. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? And now we're all ready to be blow dried, aren't we? I laid down the same towel that I used to dry her off with. I use my regular hair dryer that I'll use for myself and a slicker brush, which is this. This is great for dogs with double coats. So I'm gonna use it after I get her a little bit more dry because I don't want to pull and tuck on her hair. So let's blow dry. <laughs> She is all completely blow dried and brushed and she's ready to be cut. I'm going to be using this comb and these scissors and they are sharp. You don't want to use dull scissors. Come. Come. Sit. Good job. So again, I'm just going to make sure all the hair is combed. And I do like to leave her extra fluffy. So I'm just going to trim off the edges and round her out to give her a more full and puffy appearance. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So for the front of her, she has her hair here that usually comes to like a little bit of a triangle up. And I'm just going to go along this bottom. You can also use the comb as like a guide so you can see which hairs are longer. You can see I've just rounded out her chest hair. So now you can see this hair under here. I'm just gonna keep on cutting that until it looks flat and round. With this side, I'm just gonna even out all these little hairs that are longer than the rest. And remember, you can always take more off, but you can't put it back on after you cut it. So be patient and take your time. If they wanna take a break, you can give them a treat. And that's a really great idea. Then she's already laying down here. I'm gonna try and cut the hair off of her feet. all the hair right here I'm just gonna round all that off lastly her little fuzzy butt I feel like this is the hardest place because she wants to sit down so I'll just make sure that I don't cut any of her tail because I want her tail to stay as fluffy as possible and of course brush it out you can see I have a lot of extra fluff back here that could probably be taken off. So I'm just gonna round it off just like the rest. I'm about to give her a treat, but I wanted to show you her body. You can tell it's much more rounded. You don't see any of those long hairs. She looks very Pomeranian-like and very just like a little poof ball. <laughs>
and she's out. Lastly, I want to show you guys some adorable bows I got from an Etsy shop called Tilly Wink. These are the cutest bows. They're all handmade. The first one is a gorgeous little pink sparkly bow. The second one's more like of a metallic mauve pink purple. And the last one it is like iridescent mirrored hot pink. These are absolutely stunning. This little girl is all clean and groomed and ready for bed. Look at her little ears being down. You feel very loved, Daisy. Mm hmm. <laughs> is it hard being so fabulous? Yeah, I'm sure it is. I hope you guys found this video very helpful and informative and if you ever need any other suggestions there's always tons and tons of other YouTube videos out there of actual professionals doing it. This is just how I do it at home and how I've kept Daisy looking you know the past year and a half of her life. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if anything found it entertaining a little bit. I love you guys so so very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!